Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, we were trapped in this room by one of the sirens disguised as Sarah, Lex along with Deborah, but thanks to a dream given to us by the goddess Hera, we learned of a breakable wall that allowed us to escape that room. You know, I find it weird that Deborah did not question us finding that breakable wall. You'd think she would have reacted to that. Oh, right! The graveyard. We were heading here. Be careful, Lex. This place is appropriately spooky. Anne Rosalind, or Ro Rosalian, rest in peace. Nice use of putting a big old statue into the ground to create a little tomb. Well, little-ish, I guess. So our only is gonna have names: Jacob, L or Jacob Liberman. Uh huh. One of these is gonna be important, probably. Joshua Symbol. May his soul rest in God's hands. Lily Maglian, lost to the ocean. That's kind of unfortunate. You yeah, know, this looks interesting. Raising the fountain up and putting some pillars underneath it. That is a nice touch. Construction of objects that are normally separate. Margaret Bain, a child lost to darkness. Captain Marlo Bain, lost to the fog. Amy Lilliam, lost in the fog. Bill Draken, lost to the fog. Let's hope we don't get lost in the fog ourselves. Anything of interest in this direction? Nope. What is this? A very important to me. Alice Vera. I placed my hand on the gravestone. Dark thoughts. This is new. Alice, are you all right? Where are we? Father is here. Your father? Alice, this place is making us see things that aren't there. He is here. She still seems like she is in a daze. I am going to get you out of here. Stay close to me, Alice. So, is she with me? Or does she wander off? You know, it would have been nice had these characters who joined us were actually in our party. I know that that means we could have easily switched them around to make somebody else the leader, but that really would have been kind of helpful for context, especially for me because I was switching around files and it was kind of hard to tell which file was with which, with which person. I got it in a forest, but I didn't want it. Once I had it, I couldn't see it. The more I searched for it, the less I liked it. I took it home in my hand because I could not find it.
Mm, that would be water. That would be a house over water. Kind of interesting. Is it pointing at the windmill? What's wait, let me read this again. Got enough for us, but didn't want it. Once I had it, I couldn't see it. The more I searched for it, the less I liked it. I took it home in my hand because I could not find it. Well, there's the windmill over there. That's the only object of significance I can see besides those rocks over there. Well, let's see what happens if we interact with the windmill. We can't interact with the windmill. Okay, maybe each of these statues is going to have a different answer for us to choose. There's a button with the words dog, cat written beside it. Never mind. There's a button with the words bird and goat written beside it. Nah. There's a button with the words lion, mouse written beside it. I think I understand what it's asking for. The first animal is who's talking, and the second answer is. what it is like I the lion got it the mouse in a forest that's my guess anyway in this case I don't know once he had the mouse couldn't see it no let's take that line in particular Once I had the goat, I couldn't see it. Or once I the dog had, I couldn't. It had the cat couldn't see it. I, I don't know. Now I could probably look at the sign from the other side. Now that I think about it, any option? Uh, uh, any uh, guesses here, people in chat? I took it home in my hand because I could not find it. Well, why are Atlanta suggesting the lion ate the mouse and couldn't see it afterwards? Well, let's just try it and see what happens. Did that accomplish anything? Oh, the windmill's gone. Huh. I guess you were right. My house. This is your house? What is going on here? You are such a beautiful baby, Alice. A woman is taking care of a small baby girl. I look around the room and see a rough-looking man sitting in a rocking chair. The smell of beer fills the room. How many times have I told you? Keep that brat quiet. I swear I will... I... I will, dear. Shh. Alice, be quiet for your father.
Uh, we got three statues here. We seem to be in a different section from before. Okay, well, let's just go ahead and see what happens if we click on these. Okay, there's going to be a different riddle for each one, I guess. As I went across the bridge, I met a man with a load of wood which was neither straight nor crooked. What kind of wood was it? A load of wood which was neither straight nor crooked. Sawdust. Oh, okay. Next! What is put on a table, cut but never eaten? A pack of cards. Though it is not an ox, it has horns. Though it is not a... Though it is not an donkey, it has a pack saddle. And wherever it goes, it leaves silver behind. What is it? A snail. Easy peasy. What did that do for us? Oh, open a path. Was it another windmill we got rid of? What's this place? Yeah, strike back. Slime equals silver. Because it does have kind of a silvery sheen to it. I kind of wonder how a snail or a slug can produce that much slime and not dry out. I came to this place to escape. This used to be a happy place. Hello, Mr. Puppy. Daddy was mean again. I broke his favorite mug. Well, your dad's a mean drunkard, but I'm kind of going to have to side on him with this one. I wish he wouldn't hurt Mom and me. At least I have you. No one can hurt us in our secret place. <laughs> you are... Alice! I know you are here! Get your behind out here now. Oh no, you have to run, Mr. Puppy. There you are, you little... Dang! You know, I don't like this guy. How dare you run away from me? I... I am so sorry. Shut that dog up! Don't hurt my... dog. I'll teach you a lesson in breaking my things. No, father! Don't hurt him! He just killed the dog! Wow! Yeah, that, that is definitely someone I can happily hate. Puppy. Alice is crying. Alice. Am I really seeing Alice's past memories? And why? We must move on, Alice. Well, we got more dark, th dark thoughts to pursue. Oh. It it's, it's getting stormy. Alice? I find myself alone. Where is Deborah? What am I trying to interact with here? No idea. 
it has occurred to me that a lot of events that look like I should be interact with them but don't a lot of them is actually just scenery because there's a limit to how much scenery you're allowed to place on the map Von Wert decided to work around that by using events as scenery which is why there's so many events that are blank because they're just scenery Alice, are you okay? What happened? Alice looks down at the flowers. At first they seemed like roses, but then I noticed the flowers were covered in blood. This... This is where I... Yeah, screw this guy. I finally found you. You thought you could run away from me? Sub, so, you killed mother. She was a slut who was seeing someone behind my back. And now my own daughter disobeys her only father. No. Get over here. Suddenly Alice pulls out a knife from her, under her dress. She swings the knife wildly in the air. Get... get away from me! What did you plan on doing with that knife? I... I'll use it! You little... hmm... Alice thrusts the knife into the stomach of her father. His blood splatters all over the flowers in the garden. You know, under normal circumstances... Like, for example, in real life, I would not condone murder, but in this situation, good! Screw that guy! Alice. I... I didn't mean to do it. I was just scared. It wasn't your fault. You must not blame yourself. I put my arm around her shoulders. No one has ever shown me kindness. She embraces me. I can smell a strong scent of the ocean from her. We're in the manor. This is a new part of manor. Well, nice that we're finally learning more about Alice. I just have one question. Where is Lucy's mom? Oh, I hope they haven't both died. Stay close to me. I'm not sure what is going on. Alice moves closer to me and holds my hand. You are such a kind person. She moves in close and kisses my cheek. Um, let's keep moving. Who dat? What the hell? I stand in a lone chamber holding Alice's hand. To my horror, I see the body of Alice slumped on the floor. The body is lying in a pool of dried blood. Her chest ripped open. Ah, crap. Something wrong, Lex? Who... Who are you? Has this island gotten to you, Lex? It is me, Alice. The stench of blood and decay is making me dizzy. You... You killed her! 
show yourself. You humans disgust me. I won't let you or I won't let her have you for herself. You get away from him. Dang you. Well, that was Mary. I heard noises from behind the wall. I was lucky to find the secret passageway in time. Hopefully you guys understood that was what was happening. Her coming in through a secret passage. Because that was kind of what was being implied. Though, I suppose some people might get confused and think that she suddenly turned out that it was Alice that was her. But no. The Alice we were with was a Mary in disguise, and Victoria has barged in on us. Those two are always bickering about who gets to eat who. I am back in the manor? Yes. She looks down at Alice's body. Well, so much for my hopes of being able to rescue everyone. Let's us go back to the lobby. Victoria motions me to sit with her on the granite bench in the lobby. For the nine survivors, gone. There's an unemotional tone to her voice. Four? Who are the other two? I believe it was the mother and young child. Sarah and her friend told me of their discovery. Ah, gosh dang it. I might have to reload another save. Thankfully, the one I have not overwritten. To go through the quest to rescue Lucy and hopefully not fall for that one trap again. My, huh. Is Sarah and Rose okay? Yes, they are in the dining room at the moment. Lex! Deborah! I... I thought I lost you. Alice... is dead. Tears run down Deborah's cheek. It is your fault. You let her get another one! Victoria slaps Deborah violently across the face. Deborah falls down to the floor. That was uncalled for. It wasn't her fault. I helped Deborah to her feet. I will head to my room. Deborah, lock all doors and make sure no one leaves. It is my fault. It isn't your fault. That thing out there can take on any shape or form. I can't imagine that anyone is safe here. You are in grave danger as long as you stay on this island. You must leave as soon as possible. But how? There is still a long time before the ship arrives. The... The mistress lied about the ship coming. What? Why would she lie about that? She... Uh... I will take you to the lifeboats that the others arrived on. Where will we go? There could be miles of ocean between us and the le next landmass. It would be better to attempt fate on the ocean than it would to die on this island. It is getting late. I will get everyone together in the morning so we can leave. Stay in your room until then. And don't leave for anything. S Sarah! Lex, I... I am so glad you are alive. Lucy and her mother... They are... I heard. It... It was horrible. Alice is dead too. We have to leave this island. I know. Deborah is going to take us to the lightboats in the morning. You know, I find it interesting. 
this wasn't entirely intentional, but for this second run... Well, the first run, I was always with Sarah. In this run, I find myself always with Deborah. Shouldn't we wait for the boat? It isn't coming. What? I don't know why the mistress lied, but we must take our chances on the lifeboat. Can we even trust Abura? Yes. Yes, you can. I mean, you guys don't know it, but believe me, you can trust Abura. I... I believe we can. I gathered everyone I could find from our group to spend the night in my room. Have you found those two guys? I searched the entire manor and there's no sign of them. Do you think they were lured out of the manor like the others? Uh, I have a feeling we're gonna see them again. I don't know, but we can't go out and find them. Let's try to get some sleep. Well, I feel like this next bit of dialogue is going to be in the morning. Oh yeah, I remember this part. Yeah, we were being woken up so that we could sneak out and then find that the lifeboats are gone and destroyed. This time though, I think we're going to be having Deborah along with us. Well, how is that going to play out? Or is it even going to play out like that? Maybe Deborah won't be with us. Well. I guess we'll find out after this break. <laughs>